In this Debaco University video, I'm going to go over passive point injection for carbon dioxide delivery related to cannabis plant production. All right, for thinking about implementing one of these systems, let's go over some things you should be aware of if you're using passive point injection as a method of delivering carbon dioxide for your growing space. So first off, passive point injection. Uh, this is by far the simplest setup compared to all the other options that exist. However, if used at all, it should only be in situations that have very limited number of plants, basically no more than three. Spaces should be kept relatively small. This can cause high concentrations of carbon dioxide in small growing areas, leading to uneven conditions within the grow space. So while it, is, uh, it does offer some simplicity, uh, there is also some drawbacks to this uh, design as well. Now, if you're adding carbon dioxide, you still will have some benefits. The addition of carbon dioxide will provide the plant benefits, again, assuming all other conditions are not limiting. But if you are going through the trouble of setting up a carbon dioxide enrichment system, you want to make sure that it's as efficient as possible. Because as we're talking about our ambient levels around 400, yes, as we increase those, that's great. But we want to make sure we're consistently having levels above the ambient levels to get the most benefit from our plants. Now in large grow rooms, as we can kind of see here, uh, if this simple point injection system is used, there's a chance that there will be uh, differences noticed in the plants that are close to uh, compared to those plants that are far from the point of injection. So for large areas, be sure to factor in a delivery system, which can often be forgotten about despite its simplicity and its also necessity. You want to make sure all plants are getting equal uh, distribution, so you're getting an equal consistent grow, not getting some that are much more aggressive and some that are much less, simply because you did not equally distribute your carbon dioxide that you were enriching in this example of a larger room.